How to make fire when the world has ended. And more importantly, why? Because without heat, you're just another frozen corpse in the wasteland. Picture this. The gas stations are burned out, the lighters are all empty, and the night is colder than your ex's heart. You need fire, or you're done. Solution? We build it the old, stupid, dangerous way. Grab junk. A dead battery from an abandoned car, some steel wool from a forgotten kitchen, and a prayer. Touch them together. Zzz. Sparks. If it smokes, you're halfway to survival. If it shocks you, congrats, you're alive to feel it. Or maybe you've got glass. Smash a bottle, polish a shard, point it at the sun. It's not science, it's weaponized sunlight. Burn a leaf. Burn your notebook. Burn that picture of civilization. The point is simple. Fire is chemistry's middle finger to the apocalypse. Fuel plus oxygen plus a little chaos equals heat. Now feed it scraps, cloth, wood, whatever burns. And don't inhale too deep unless you're into coughing up black lung cosplay. If it glows, if it crackles, if you're warm, congratulations. You've just beaten extinction with garbage. 